So this red carpet glamour look is what I wore to the Glamoriety show for Benefit. I just thought it'd be fun to do a little tutorial beforehand, so this is just before I went out. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take a primer. Now the reason I'm using a primer is it's going to make my foundation last longer and go on better and look better too. The foundations that I'm choosing, any of these are appropriate for photography. I actually mixed up all three because I'm crazy. And I'm using my F20 to blend that in because it just gives that airbrush look, so I love it. For concealer, I'm using the Derma Blend by Vichy, and this is a little sample I got in Glossy Box. And this covers like a dream, like it's awesome at covering. It seriously is a complete full coverage kind of thing. So just ignore the eyes because I will come back and do it in a second. I'm setting my makeup with a loose powder. You could use a pressed powder or whatever you like using, provided it's matte and it doesn't have any SPF in it. I'm also going to add some contour to my cheeks using the mixture of these two bronzers and I'm going to make this stupid face. See this stupid face? It's the face I make. I'm going to blend it right underneath my cheeks to give that nice kind of structured hollow look and then just buff it out. Buff it out like crazy. But on camera you really want to make sure you have definition to the face. Moving on to the eyes and this is the fun bit. I'm going to first of all just shape my eyebrows and you might say is that really necessary and it kind of is. So I'm taking this angled brush and this brown shadow, I'm going to work it through my brows because in pictures your eyebrows can disappear. So this will just make sure that you don't lose the framing around your eyes. Then I'm going to take these two shades here, I'm going to start off with the lightest one and just work it very softly in the crease. This is what I usually do, it, it just defines the eyes very subtly. So I'm working this into the crease and slightly higher, but leave a gap just underneath your brows that you can place a bit of highlight if you want to. Taking a fluffy brush in the darker shade, I'm going to work this right into the crease. So the mid-tone, the first shade that we used, went up a little bit higher. This darker shade is just going in the crease and is going to stay in the crease. Just make sure you really blend these shades. Taking a lighter shade, I'm going to dust this over the eyelid and this is just going to brighten up the eyelid and really create that deep kind of socket look with the darker shade in the crease. I really like this for hooded eyes, if you have hooded or small eyes. I'm going to take that dark brown that we used in the crease and work this just on that outer corner because I want to create a kind of a cat eye, elongated eye, so I'm working this just on that outer half and blend it upwards to, to lift the eyes. Taking an angled brush and a black shadow, I'm going to push this right on the lashes and I'm doing exactly the same thing that I did underneath to create that cut eye look. I'm only placing it on that outer half. And this lifts the eyes and creates that a natural kind of cat eye look, which I just love. And it also adds definition to the eyes. Then I'm going to take a black pencil liner and just push the liner in between my lashes and this is just going to really define the lashes but you don't have to worry about it kind of going all over your eye like it's not on the waterline or the wet tissue it's in between the lashes to add more definition to the eyes i'm going to take these false eyelashes and i've actually half these and used half before and this is the second half that i'm going to use today i'm going to use some duo adhesive glue because it's the best one Taking my ultra cool tweezers, I'm going to push this right at the base. Just as close to the lash as possible, but not on the lashes. And then all you want to do is to just hook up the edges to make sure that it's sitting properly for you. But I'm only using on the outer half because I just want to create that cat eye elongated look. You can also go for full lashes, but I should prefer using the smaller ones because they're so much easier to apply. I'm going to take this nude coloured liner and I showed this in my essence video and it's just a really nice nude colour. I'm just working that in the inner corner and along the lash line. Add a few coats of mascara and you know how much I love mascara. I'm just going to go crazy, okay? I use a lot of mascara. <laughs> some red lips or hot pink lips or nude lips and you're good to go. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. Bye.